Hello, beautiful people. This is Chris Maddox, founder of The Wild Woman Project, and I'm speaking to you today because I always speak to you at new moon time, and the new moon is upon us. It comes April 18th, that's a Saturday, which is a perfect day to carve out a little new moon time. So the new moon time is a huge deal at The Wild Woman Project. We, this is exactly the time where we meet in wild woman moon circles. Um, these happen in living rooms, they happen in community spaces, in yoga studios, in backyards. And the aim is really not only to gather in community, but also to honor uh, this time, this new moon time, as the beginning of the creative cycle. So when you look up to the sky at new moon time, you don't actually see it in the sky. It's high. It's kind of drawn back behind the sky. So energetically, we can take that as a hint that perhaps it would be useful for us to sort of draw inward. And wild woman moon circles are really built to take you very, very deeply inward. Uh, the aim being to find that seed, um, the thing that you most want to tend to, to create, to bring forward into the world. And, uh, you know, we really walk away from circle with a very clear intention for the moon cycle. Ahead. We have a very specific theme and it's always different and it's always inspired by the astrological placement of that particular new moon. So, we are in this new phase where our new moons for the foreseeable future happen on the cusp, which means like right on the edge of a sign. This is right on the edge of Aries in the direction of Taurus, right? So Aries, from the astrological perspective, here are good things to know because the Aries energy is going to be present on Saturday and it's very much the inspiration for both the Wild Woman Moon Circles that I hope that you are attending and also the New Moon Companion, which is a sort of solo virtual, virtual retreat that you can um, take and I'll put links below this video. So the Aries energy, what is it? So Aries is first. It is the part of us which dares to go first. There is a beautiful kind of innocence to the Aries energy. The Aries energy is fire. It is inherently brave. I mean, think about the energy you have to have to say, I'll do it. I'll go first. I'll ask the question that no one will ask. I'll, I'll lead it. I'll go for it. I will create something. I'll move forward. I mean, the Aries energy is so bold. So this energy within you might be really fami familiar or not. But this is the time at this new moon to sort of tune into that part of yourself. The part of you which has... Uh, the best way I can describe it is an imperative to rise, to grow, to dare. Something to know about the Aries energy is when we, we track the moon cycles here. For a moment, I'm going to talk about the sun cycles. So the when we move when the sun moves into Aries, where it stays for about a month, um it always arrives on the spring equinox. Okay, so it's March 20th, it always arrives. And I think that really teaches us about the energy of Aries. It is the early spring energy. So I want you to imagine, end very end of winter, so very beginning of spring. So there might be still snow over the earth, but underneath, the surface of the earth, here are these little seeds and they are literally quivering because they are, they know, they have no idea what is going on above the surface, but they know that they are meant to sprout, to rise, 
to break through. So they are so strong and the Aries energy is strong. There is a ton of drive. There's a ton of energy. There's a ton of fire. And it's absolutely sort of this trailblazing, rising sort of energy. So you know, like in their, <laughs> that beautiful innocence, they have no idea what's going to happen up here. They just know what they feel. And that, I know what I feel. I feel I have to rise. That energy, that passion is what we're really going to be sort of tuning into at this new moon and, and focusing on. So the passion, this, um, to know in any moment that Perhaps, because the wise one knows, you don't really know what's going to happen. You can have as many visions and dreams as you want, but ultimately there's a large amount of that that's left up to the mystery of life and the intelligence of the universe. Um, but what you do know is your impulse. What is in every moment uh, allowing you to come alive, uh, waking you up, lighting you up? And the Aries energy really invites us into our passion. It says, yes, this is the time. This is the time. Rise up wherever you're feeling passionate. Feel that more. Let's go. So in our circle journey and on the uh, new moon companion, the solo retreat, the whole purpose is to activate your passion and to align it directly with a very specific dream, vision, pursuit, project that you'd like to see realized. And the circle journey um, and the solo retreat are going to take you there. So I hope that you have a wonderful, passionate, amazing, fiery new moon. I hope that you allow yourself to dare and to tune into your courage, your bravery, and even sort of <laughs> this, this innocence, uh, which goes, I'll go first. I'll go. I'll take the leap. I'll dive. So have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful uh, new moon. And I will see you over at thewildwomanproject.com.